Welcome to an ATFO replay commentary. Um, today, I'm just going to show a, a match that I don't even really remember much about it except for the end. Um, but when I was done, I'm like, you know what? I might just upload that because I think we just had a lot of fun with it. It was just it was a very odd match. We just kind of played with the enemy. Um, and hello, viewers. We've got Vivalki and Mojo viewers of the series here so they're playing with us um i'm with Sheik. me and him are on uh, voice communication and i'm playing support he's playing gunner thing you gotta kind of understand about this match this is not a serious match okay this is totally us just like i don't know we've been playing literally all day we just decided to just screw it and just have fun uh <laughs> i don't get many days off so uh, when I'm in the mood to just uh, play this when I've got half a day, then I'll do that. But uh, so our heads are really not with it. This is like one of the last games of the night. Um, I am. We are both one, like 100% not focused at all. We don't. We're not even focused on our teammates. Uh, so I apologize to you guys that played with us. But um, yeah, I mean we're we're just talking about random stuff, not focused with the game. Um, we it's it's as if nobody else is in the game but the two of us really, and we it's just I don't know it's 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 not how you should play, but it it just resulted in a kind of strange match. So let's just go ahead and watch it. And I again I apologize to my teammates who um would have probably played a lot better if I focused on you guys or if we if we worked with you guys a bit more. But I mean it is what it is, even though I hate that saying, but uh, it's just what happens in these games, you can't focus all the time, and that's why, again, I don't really care so much, one thing you might think, uh, or I see a lot of people do, they get, they get really pressured if they get, like, a, a name for themselves, or they, or they, even if they don't even really have a name for themselves, they're so pressured to, to play well, that uh, they they never want to have a bad score on the scoreboard. They'll never play when they're tired. I play it any time I feel like it. I don't care if I look bad or not. It doesn't matter. No matter what game I play, people can think I suck, and it's true. If I'm tired and I'm sucking, then I suck. I'm not a great player, so screw it. That's just the way things are. Not a, You can't be great all the time. Not that I'm great ever, but... <laughs> but okay, so here we are on the right just trying to... Hold this. Uh, let's well. Let's just see what we got going to. Um, yeah, that's all the people in the match. There, uh, we're up against two commandos, and they they those two commandos work very well together. So they're very difficult to to f fight against, and especially when you have two good commandos working together, and you've got uh, players on the team that aren't so experienced. They're just gonna tear those guys up. Even one commander will tell, tear people like that up, but add another on top of that, oh, man, it's very difficult to handle unless everybody's working together. And like I said many times already in this, we're only a couple minutes in, me and Sheik were not focused on my team at all. So <laughs> that only helped the enemy commandos. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember anything going on here. Just trying to play. Contain the bots. Team's not doing so hot with that. I've been playing a ton of support recently. Uh, support's always been one of my favorite pros. He, he was one of my favorites in old MNC as well. Uh, but just with this game, since I always only solo queue or, or play with uh, my friends, I'm, I never really play with like high great players that uh, I can I can uh, like basically be a dedicated healer for. I have to rely on them too much. And by the way, Captain Spark, the enemy at Captain Spark, is very, very, very good at escaping. He, uh, so many times, uh, we came into close situations where, I mean, most sparks would die, but this guy almost always escaped, so that was a very nice job for him. And here, I actually, my firebase is locking out the enemy Leo's turret, 
because it's not it's trying to it's focused on uh my fire base and it can't and it can't even hit it so it's not shooting anything else on the field but my fire base can shoot other things on the field so kind of lucky positioning there and i can't kind of keep that up as much as i can Okay, there's Spark again up ahead. See if we can get him. Good ring out. And he escapes. So just trying to overheal Gunner. Again, though, I mean, it's in our habit where I, I tend to ignore almost everybody else and just focus on uh, Sheik, whoever he's playing, just because the two of us... Uh, could play very well together as a team like this because we both stay in the match and he always tells me when to run and things. Um, even like the guys that I'll play with like Lawrence and things, they uh, they don't work as well because they tend to, they don't trust my healing as much. <laughs> uh, I gotta get them in the habit of that. But um, so like if they'll take some some health hits, I'll stand there and just heal them and expect them to stand there with me because we'll be okay, but they'll still just run all the way far far, far away from me so that I can't even heal them and it just take me out of the game and I don't want to run that far back. Uh, just because that's the habit they have to be in for, uh, that's how most people would play, but not me. I'm a, I'm a very risky offensive player. That's why I suck, huh? <laughs> so again, trying to kill Spark, but he escapes. This is the one, one of the best sparks I've seen in a long time. I think now that I, I'm thinking about it, that's the way spark the good sparks used to play. They just get in and then do some damage and get right back out. But I haven't seen those in a while. So I believe the Annihilator is here, yes. It's about time for the Annihilator. We won't get it set up. Veteran catches me off guard. Oh, yeah, I think uh, Gunner told me to put a fire base up on the pillars. I don't know. We'll see. He said that to me somewhere in the game. It's amazing how much I remember from all my matches. So I'm juiced almost, oh I've got half health here. Just get a mortar on the annihilator for whoever's still up there. Nice job with that grapple. Low on health. Get some regenital, wait for myself to heal some more. Okay. Grapple. Using the jump pads to leech health, and uh, I guess I'm going to tile something. This match something to do with jump pads, but um, yeah, using jump pads as support and leeching off the enemy is such a good tactic because it's very difficult for the enemy to to hurt you. And I will use that strategy a lot later in the game. <laughs> and I'm running investing, so I don't really want to call the Annihilator. I don't even know if I have the money for it. Yeah, I do. A lot of us probably do. Or I did have to buy some Regenital, so maybe I don't have the money for it. Okay, I'm able to kill Spark there finally with a good grapple. I think best going for the Annihilator. And we get it. Trying to slow her down for Gunner. He gets her. And setting up in one of my favorite spots. Trying to keep that Fuji Hill to keep damaging that turret. And who knows, maybe we can destroy the turret and the Fuji will just move on to the second one. And here we go, scramblers and all kinds of mess. But luckily my fire base catches them off guard because she doesn't know it's there. Now she does. I'm at half.
have health just leeching. Now I'm about three fourths and about full. Then I'll just heal Gunner until he's maximized with health. <laughs> big fight going on over there. Now I'm kind of like left alone. I knew there was a big fight going, but I decided to just, just kind of stay over here. I'm just trying to leech health and move to my fire base, but he knocks me away from it. Nice job, Spark. Now Gunner's alone up here <laughs> without my help. But he does have my turret still, my fire base set up, and Cheston. Back to my little fire base. Time to kill Spark. Assassin grapples me, saves Spark. Spark kills me. And he escapes yet again. <laughs> Who is that Spark? Okay. Wow. Poonin O'Brien. <laughs> I don't think I've seen him before. Sorry if I have. I don't pay attention to it. I play so much, it's so hard to keep track of any names. Other turret shield is down on the right, but I need to get my fire base set up. Maybe, yeah, I don't know why we're not attacking that. I mean, I know Mega Best covering it well, but enemies just all over us. Hard to get anything done. Shields back up. Gunner's health about a quarter. I keep saving him. All right, make her run away. Still just overhealing Gunner. He's our major damage output guy. Oh, they get the Annihilator. I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> I might have in the game, but there's just too many bots to push back and things, and plus the enemy team is, at this point, what's, what's the scores? Yeah, they're beating us pretty bad. They're all level 10, 9, 8. We're 10, 9, 9, 8, 7. So not too hot. So we're going to lose the Annihilator anyway. We're going to lose the Annihilator anyway, most likely. 
Best to just contain the bots. Spark gets away, of course. <laughs> That's fine, though. We just need to push him out of this area so we can kill the bots. Have they died? Let me see their deaths. Yeah, the two... Oh, uh, well... Eh, Swark's died a good amount. Okay. I, I wasn't really keeping track of it in the game, either. We were just, you know, we are just playing. Big mess here. Dead. <laughs> Let's see what, what Gunner what Gunner's doing. He's trying to run. Let's see how the, he uh, this ends. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Where are you, Gunner? Oh, they must have killed him. Okay, well they killed him. Huge mess of bots. Just gonna ignore that commando. I'm not falling for that crap. I created it. <laughs> so now we're pushed back at our base. Things aren't looking good. Both rocket shields down. We're up against two commandos that could just destroy those with no problem. We have to push out. Nice kill by Tank there on uh, Spark. Destroy those bots. That firebase location is pretty good. The enemy will be able to destroy it uh, easily, but uh, it covers both lanes, and I like—I really like putting it there. It it, um, it works well most of the time if you're pushed back that far. I don't remember. Oh, I think he, yeah. For like, is he another ready? And then we hop up there. I, I think I can't remember though. I don't know what we're doing. I guess getting the lay of the land. Trying to find something to attack. And I probably decide to go just get set up over on this side again. Yeah. Because it, it causes them to come back and attack us. Breaks their team up. It's just a... That's what I like doing in these games. A... a team of five that are all sticking together are almost invulnerable, but if you can break them up, separate them, that's when they start dying. And Gunner gets pulled to his death. <laughs> Good luck escaping that. And I'm about dead here, so I use the jump pads. Jump pads are my only means of escaping and surviving. Up against three of them by myself, I was at half health. Now I'm at about full, and I'm able to push them away just from using the jump pad and leeching health. And I really start going, okay, these guys really suck with these jump pads. So I decide to just set up up here. And from this point on, I'm just going to focus on jump padding <laughs> against these guys. Because that's their, that's their major weakness is jump pads. And there's plenty of good jump pads on this map. So here we go. Again, fighting two commandos, just using the jump pad, leeching some life, distracting them. Letting my firebase take out, out anybody else who... Uh, who's not paying attention. Of course they're killing it, but uh, that's the goal, is to set my fire base in a, a spot where the jump pad... It's in the area of the jump pad, on the top or the bottom, where it will shoot anybody going up or down. 
So again, here we go, more jump padding. <laughs> and let's try and get Assassin. I believe she escaped, so I should have gone to the right to begin with, but I just screwed up, so... And then Annihilator is almost ready. This time he probably tells me to set it up on the pillar. I don't remember which one it was. And I don't exactly know why he wanted me to do it on the pillar, but I go ahead and do it anyway. We're just kind of goofing around. But playing series at the same time. So, jump pads again. Here comes the commandos. Let's use the jump pads. But they get me. And they get Gunner. That's the end of that. And they're going for Chicky. Looks like they're pushing our base. Oh, and they got the Annihilator, too. On top of all that, Okay, so here we go. We're back in the match. Gotta stop their bots. I decided to go for the commandos, so they stopped their push. Whew. Almost fell off there. So again, just trying to set up in an area that will force them to run back and attack us. That's what these guys will fall for. And it works. It works against these guys. That's what the fire base is great for. That's why I like playing support. Let's watch Gunner. Just because you can set up and hold in an area and just trap enemies with it. It's just, it's really, it's really cool. Good job. <laughs> Bam. I'm almost back in the game now. Back in the game now. Okay, here we are. So again, Sparks on me, and I die instantly. I don't know what I was doing. This is probably about the point where I'm, we're just like, this is hopeless, we're totally going to lose, there's nothing we can do, our rockets are almost falling. back in, but I'm going to go here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is where things change. I basically have a, like, I have 6,000 coins. You can see right on the screen. I've, yeah, I've got 6,000. and or, or so. I don't remember if it was 4 or 6, but um, I'm, I'm, we're, we're, it's basically, we're done uh, at this point of the game if we just continue on doing what we've been doing. So I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to buy all the buffs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go set up in the jungle. I'm going to spend all my money. I'm running investing for the unenhanced. So I always want to have 2,000 coins, but I'm like, whatever. I'm going to spend that anyway. And uh, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go set up. These guys suck with jump pads. I'm just going to go set up a uh, jump pad jump pad trap for them. Let's go do that. Let's go set up a jump pad trap for them. And that's what we do. <laughs> let's see how many we could kill. And let's look at the scores too at this moment. I'm 6 and 6 uh with 8 assists and um yeah, of course we're pushed all the way back to our base. Will that change? I don't know. Why am I making such a big deal? So I go ahead and just decide to set this up here, try and catch them off guard. It's something I haven't done yet. So let's just uh, try and bait them into uh, a fight with the jump pads and my turret. So here comes the first one, Assassin. Got rid of her. Go ahead and 
and just kill Jungle Bot. Okay, here's Megabeth. Firebase is firing at her. She runs away. She's dead. She, oh, no, no, she's still alive. Our Megabeth is dead. So, okay, we got, uh, looks like Spark and, uh, Assassin are on us. Is that right? Yep. Oh, and Assassin got hit by a bouncer, too. I did not know that. So it's a two-on-two. Two. My fire base, well, two-on-three with my fire base, right? So uh, we killed Spark. We killed Assassin. Two of the most dangerous players that are working very well together, dominating us. So we knocked those guys out. Time to get our bots back. Look at this big mess. All they have to do is get into our money ball right now with that big mess. But uh, oh, I guess they do make it fall from the other side. So our money ball still falls, but we're just like, screw it. Let's just let's just keep going. See what we can do. Contain this. We still it's it's the field is five on three, so we can certainly get back some momentum. And they do have a jackpot coming, but um, we'll deal with that when that when that occurs. So okay, cool. Our money ball shield is back up. We, someone bought a jackpot for us. I don't remember who, which was a good move. That certainly helps with defenses. Even though I it. I sounded like it just died there. Annihilator's almost ready. We have to go for this fight. Yeah, this is where he said put it on the pillar. <laughs> but I had to fall down. He's doing what he can. Very low on health. I help him out. Just keep him here. See if we can kill Spark. He gets away. We're going for the Annihilator, or we're going for it. I don't know. I get the fire base on the pillar there. Never do that. I, n I never do that, so I don't know how effective it will be. Our money ball is down yet again. But we go ahead and get the Annihilator and kill their Captain Spark, which is good. Kill their Leo, which is good. Kill all the bots in the field. They still do have a jackpot now because they got our, our money ball down. Two minutes to overtime, and I decide let's set up in the jungle up here. I'm, I'm just going to set my fire base up here. The, the enemy team, it, it works against them. They suck. They suck when I do that. I just use those jump pads, and they fall for that fire base. So I go ahead and put it back there to kind of cover this room where I'm going to be standing. I'm trying to destroy the turret, do what I can. And I head back up. comes assassin. I'm going to be fully healed against these guys. Two enemies, but luckily my firebase pushes one away temporarily. Pushes the other one away. Now they're all after me, all four. But I'm juiced so I can leech very well. And I'm able to survive. Nice job with tank there, uh, getting them off of me. Kills the bouncer. <laughs> That's a cool grapple. <laughs> and let's set up again. They were at our money ball multiple times, but this is uh, keeping them at bay. If they focus on me, they're not focused on the lanes, and I can I have mortars I can rain down, and I can heal my team and whatever I need to do from up here. So I can help, but in this area, but they really can't. So again, two of them are after me. One has to run from the firebase. Just keep it healed. Here comes Leo. Leo's down. Better to heal your players than your firebase. If your firebase is going to die anyway. If your firebase, if you can save your firebase by healing it, well, that's something you have to decide what you want to do. But if you're going to lose it anyway, heal, just heal your teammates. Unless they're shooting at the firebase instead of your teammate. <laughs> okay, so we're doing well. Yeah, they're just unable to come after us up here. And 
we kill Leo again. Kill veteran, love that shotgun range and damage. Juice this uh, bot here, but they kill it. Unfortunately, I was too slow on that. Didn't even see. It. I didn't even know it was heading in. So, and again, just trying to hold my position. I know he's gonna go in for a grapple and try and ring me out, but he doesn't. Luckily, we we scare him off. Try and stall this bot. And back to position. Got a good kill streak going on at the moment. We'll see what the tally is once I die. Oh no, spoilers. <laughs> surprise, surprise, I I die. Surprise, surprise, guys. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> is assassin on my turret. Grapple her. She looks like she got away. But we get the Annihilator. Can we kill Spark? No, we cannot. <laughs> Killed him again. Gotta love that range. I go ahead and just juice this jackpot. Don't want to spend too much time fighting him. Want to just hold my position at the top. Leo again, got another kill. Try and get our jack in. They kill it. Pancake, look at that, wow. I th I've only ever gotten, I think, one pancake in the whole time I've ever played the game, and that was total, like, by chance, random thing that happened. By the way, uh, Sheik is using my gunner build, my latest gunner endorsement build, which is uh, it maximizes reload, mag size, fire rate, and accuracy as much as possible, plus has maximum speed, and side effects are it gives a maximum critical shot chance, but a minus 25% critical shot damage and minus about 15% uh, skill regeneration. Uh, but... Yes, so a lot of people may criticize it for not boosting, uh, for having low crit damage, but it buffs so many other stats that just for general, normal, non-juiced play, it's, it's, it's very good. And you just instead juice uh, to escape a bit more. I mean, since Gunner has no mobility anyway, that's what he has to do a lot of the time, more than most pros do, in my opinion.
Okay, so I'm all alone without my gunner. <laughs> He's he. I think he ran back to buy buffs. He didn't know where the Gobi Numb was, though. <laughs> Can you believe that? He didn't know. That's the type of people I play with, man. He didn't think there was Gobi Numb on this map. He couldn't find it. It's all good, though. He wanted to buy all the buffs, but instead he could only buy two. So, just because he couldn't find the third one. I told him to go to their base and buy it, but he's like, nah, forget that. <laughs> so I've still got all of my buffs. Uh, remember, I, I bought I bought all three of the, the big buffs, and that really paid off. That turned the whole thing around. Plus being smart with positioning and knowing where the enemy uh, is weak. Turned everything around. We were at a sure loss about half a game this time ago. Jump Pad Jungler. That's a good title. Hopefully I remember that. <laughs> Jump Pad Jungle Support. Gotta use alliteration. And a lucky pull throws me right out of the ring, and I lose all three of my buffs as their money ball goes down. Um, so I went from six and six. I gained up to 14 kills. So I gained eight kills. I was on an eight kill streak right there, plus assists, uh, just by buying all the buffs and uh, playing to the enemy's weakness positioning to the enemy's weakness. That's the thing with support is he's got fantastic area control um, as long as you uh, by himself but if you can have a, a good enforcer with you you guys can really control some good air spots um, as long as the team works with you like that. Um, so you gotta find those good spots and what works best. Uh, what's happen What's going on in the match? Maybe we should see that. Oh yes. So they killed me. They killed Megabeth. Now they're getting the Annihilator. So we have their money ball down, but they're gonna make a good comeback here. And it looks like Tank died too. Veterans watching that. Um, yeah. So they're able to turn that around pretty quickly. They've got a great bot push going. Nice vet pull. That's all I can say. If I wasn't vet pulled there, we might have won very well because they they would have struggled to get the annihilator because they would have had to fight in my little fire base location first. And uh, yeah, so they get our money ball down. I'm all alone out here. Well, we have two other people spawned, but there I am getting murdered by an assassin. I'm basically alone fighting for the for the. Uh, Sur fighting to survive, so I'm just trying to distract them and leech health off everything I can for my teammates to get in. But it's kind of helpless, so or hopeless, whatever. Um. But yeah, just an interesting uh, map match, quite different. So I thought I'd just record it and show it to you guys. So thanks for watching. If you have any uh, recommendations on what I should do in the future, let me know, and I might do that. So, catch you next time. Oh, and by the way, what well, what scores did everybody get? Let's I guess that's a good thing to look at. Um Yeah, me and Sheikar kills over deaths, but everybody else 3 and 12, 0 and 10, 3 and 19. Um yeah, there might be newer players, uh but um sure there's I'm sure there's room to improve, but at the same time uh, it's very difficult if we're all not working as a team to handle two commandos. It's so easy to just die all the time. So uh, partially m me and Gunner's fault for the for all, for that major death loss. But on the other hand, 
those three guys have 300 bot kills, 160 bot kills, and 100 bot kills. So they all did a very, very good job at containing those bots. And um, really, when you're... I, I know a big problem with this game and the players is that they just... Uh, they feel so bad when they have a, a, a lot of deaths. But really, I mean, th you're never going to be able to beat every team there is out there. There's always going to be a team better than you. And um, just making it to the 35-minute mark like we did in this game is a huge feat. Um, so uh, don't don't think of it so much as, oh, we should have won but our team was so bad, we ha we went 35 minutes and they weren't able to do the money ball. No, think of it as, wow, the enemy team was so good, yet we were able to delay them from winning for 35 minutes. That's that's the mentality you guys should have. Uh, so as long as you're killing bots and doing what you can, it's all good. Um, believe me, I get I take a I get scores like that too, and um, I have over a thousand hours of play, and that's why everybody thinks I'm so terrible at the game, because <laughs> I'm just too reckless, and I don't care, but, um, good games, guys, that was definitely, uh, one worth replaying, so, thanks for the matches, hopefully I'll see you all around.